Hey everybody, Brent Sales here for sales training video number six. And now we know what we're supposed to do with a customer, right? We know what our job is, we know what the purpose of sales and why it's important and all those things. And we know our goals in sales. And now it's time to get the customers in the door. And so now we're gonna talk about power base. And uh, some people refer, refer to this as our sales funnel and the customers coming in, all that kind of stuff, but um, we call it power base, right? So there's types of customers out there. You know, there's the walk-in customer, there's the phone customer, there's the be backs customers that have been in now have come back. There's the internet lead, right? There's the uh, referral and repeat. So walk-in is what a lot of people focus on. Salespeople always say, I need more ups, I need more walk-in traffic. There's not enough customers coming through the door. This is the wrong way to think. Day one of your sales career, if you get rid of this thinking and decide to generate your own customer base, your own power base, you will be more successful. Because walk-in traffic is only a 10 to now probably go to 30% closing ratio. Nowadays, walk-in traffic, the walk-in customers are highly qualified customers. They've done all the research, they're in there, they're ready to buy. But they don't know you, they don't like you, they don't trust you. We're going to go over that with uh, later on in the three things we know about a customer. Now, the phone-up customer that comes in, books appointments comes in, they're 50 plus percent. 50 plus percent closing ratio. Customer who was a walk-in and you get to come back through proper follow-up is 75 percent. Internet lead who came in as an internet lead and now you book an appointment and they show up is an 80 percent. Referral, 80 percent. Right? Plus. Repeat, 80%. So this is the side that you want to be on. These are the types of customers that you want, right? You don't need to worry about those walking customers. 10 to 30% closing ratio. And 30 is if you're a really good professional salesperson. Now if you're just starting out, it might be 10 or less than 10. But if you focus on this side, the power base side, generating your own leads, your own customers, you'll be more successful immediately from day one. So let's talk about the four steps, again, of power base. Number one is market me. What a world that we live in. We have free marketing. We don't have to pay a cent to get our name out there. We don't have to pay a cent, I mean not one dollar, to tell people who we are, what we do and where we do it and then if we want to spend some money rather than spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on the radio just blasting it or TV or newspaper we can now target specifically the people we want to target for pennies on the dollar amazing world so you know how are we going to market ourselves first we're going to have you know a facebook page and apple Auto group is going to help you we're going to set it up for you we're going to get it templated but you got to use it so there's facebook is one way to market yourself and then with that you can link your instagram account right get people knowing what you're doing building that content all that kind of stuff youtube is insanely insanely important for your career I recommend you get really comfortable in front of the camera and get these videos going and showing people what you can do for them, right? Now, 78% I think it is of the customers would like to choose their salesperson before they even walk into the showroom. So if you have a YouTube page and you have your bio on there and you have walk around videos and you're showing people who you are, what you do and how you can help them, they're more likely to choose you as a salesperson and feel comfortable as soon as they walk in the showroom, which means they're more likely to listen to you immediately. Okay? So YouTube's a big one. Blogging, right? Hey, uh, business cards, as crazy as it sounds, business cards, right? Who, can, who else can you market to? Hey, we can go in and do uh, community events. Anywhere you frequent. Hey, maybe it's your church. Maybe it's a, uh, your previous work previous work, letting them know, hey, here's where I am, here's what I do, here's how I'm going to help you. you got to be marketing yourself, right? 78% of the customers like to choose a salesperson, but 71, I think, of the stats bought because of the salesperson. So you are integral to the sales process with the customer. you got to market yourself always 
to get in front of customers. Market me is one of the most powerful things you're going to be doing. You're going to be thinking. You're going to be constantly doing it every single day. This is not a sometimes, every now and then kind of thing. It's an all the time. Everybody you meet needs to know who you are and what you do and how you can help them. Number two is your working prospects. So you got a customer in, right? You got them in and they from one of these uh, channels and they come in and look at the car and you don't close them. Now you got to follow up with them. So your WPs, your working process prospects are so vitally important. I want you to write this down 100%. The number one reason for success is follow up. The number one reason for failure is follow up. If you don't follow up, you will fail. If you do follow up, you will be successful. So the number one reason for failure or success is follow up. You can't not follow up with a customer. So working process, here's, here's a little bit of a schedule you can work for yourself. Find what works for you, but I would stick to this right away. And then, hey, maybe add some stuff in there. But number one, if a customer leaves within five to 15 minutes, I want you sending them a text message, right? Text message, and it could be now if you were working a deal, if you write wrote a deal and it was about the trade or whatever it is, write it back saying, "Hey, we, we got to fit, we got to finalize this. Come back. I won't make it. I won't make a waste of your time. I will not waste your time. Come on back. Spend ten more minutes with me. Let's finalize. Let's hammer out these details." My other manager's here. He wants to look at your trade. My other my GM just walked in. He wants to review the numbers. Whatever it is that if that's if you were working a deal. If you had wrote, written a deal, then that's the message. Get them back in, let's close this deal, because they're in buying mode. Okay? Now, if they were just like, eh, we're not, you didn't write a deal, you didn't do anything but show them a car, that's exactly what you gotta do is remind them who you are, what you do, and how you can help them. Right? So the first thing I'd text message, hey, this is just just a video of me uh, reminding you who I am. My name's Brent. Uh, I know you know you're gonna see a lot of salesperson, but I want you to forget me because I'm the best. Right? And here's the car that you were looking at. Turn around, sh share a video of the car. And I'm going to be sending you some more information over the next few days. Boom. So that's what you do. Then, within 24 hours, you send them a video walk around through the CRM. Why through the CRM? So you can track it. It'll send you notifications if the customer opened it. So you imagine a customer sitting at home, you sent them a video walk around, they pull it up, they show their husband, their wife, their boyfriend, their girlfriend, their cat, their dog, whatever, say, hey, this is the car I was looking at today. And they watch it. And then they're at work the next day and they watch it again. You get notifications, customers watch this car, this walk around video three or four times. You're gonna give them a call. And your call is gonna be with intent. Your call is not to say, Thanks for coming in. It was a pleasure. If you have any questions, please give me a call. No. Who cares about that? The customer has questions, they'll Google those questions. You thank them already. You said thanks for coming in when you let them leave. Right? Maybe you said it in, in your little video. Again, thanks for coming in. Really appreciate it. Your call now is with intent to finalize a deal, flush out objections. So you're going to call them up and say, hey, Bob, this is Brent. I'm, I'm really looking forward to finalizing this deal with you. Can you come in today or is later in the week better? That's it. The reason for my call is to finalize this deal, to set an appointment to finalize this deal. When can you make it in? Right now or later today? The reason for my call is to finalize a deal. That's the reason for the call. Okay? Call with intent. Okay? And then within 72 hours, have your manager do a quick call to the guy, get a little temperature gauge, how was everything, is there a reason why you haven't purchased the car yet, what is it, can I help, whatever that might be. And then you follow up forever. Follow up forever. And I don't care if they buy a car elsewhere, follow up with them. You're an expert. Okay? They're going to buy more cars. Their friends are going to maybe buy more cars. What if they buy a Honda and you're a Nissan person? Follow up with them. Because guess what? Their Honda salesperson's not following up with them. This is a big, big thing. If you do it, rather than marking them lost, put them in your funnel for later on. More people to call, the more business you can generate, the more relationships you can build, the more successful you will be. Now, 
Most salespeople aren't going to do this. You go, oh, the guy bought a Honda down the street. I don't need to talk to him. Lost. The number one tip I can give you is the customers are never lost. They will buy a car again. They will have friends and family that are buying cars. Nobody's lost. Okay? Number three. Prospecting. Oh. Salespeople hate prospecting. This is not your grandpa's prospecting. This is not pulling up out of a phone book, starting at A, and calling customers. That's not what this is about. Prospecting is letting every person you know and every person you meet know who you are, what you do, where you do it, and how you can help them. That's as simple as prospecting is. You're getting a Subway sandwich, you're talking to the girl, say, hey, thanks for being so, so great, you were, your customer service is phenomenal. If I can ever help you, here's who I am, here's what I do, here's where I do it, and I can help you. So, so, so vital to be able to tell everybody who you are, where, what you do, where you do it, and how you can help them. Prospect everywhere. You're in Starbucks. You're at Safeway, right? Most of us usually gravitate towards the same you know, cashier that we like at a Safeway or a Superstore or wherever it might be, if we always go the same time. So get to know these people. Hand them your card. Here's who I am. Here's what I do. Here's where I do it. And here's how I can help you vital in your success. Now as you start selling cars, the last one is going to be owner base. 30% of the customers have friends or family who are going to buy a car in the next 90 days. 30% of the customers have friends or family who are going to buy a car in the next 90 days. Your owner base needs to be referring you but how can they refer you if you don't do proper follow-up with sold customers? So that's owner base. So you're going to call within the first 24 hours, right? How is everything? Did I miss anything? Is there anything else I need to go over? No? Perfect. Right. If I if, do you need anything, you know, just send me a quick text. If you want to stop by the store, I can show you any features. Just please let me know. Great. Boom. 24 hours. Then one week, right? Then three weeks. This might just be an email. And then if I were you, remember our job is to create a relationship. If I were you, I'd be calling those customers for the first year of their life as your client, as your customer, every month and building the relationship. And then after the year, so every month, every month contact. So that on month six, you could literally call and say, hey, Jim, Brent from Applewood, I'm just calling to see... Uh, if we should go see a counselor, I think you don't like me anymore, I think you're upset with me, and Jim's going to laugh and go, well, what are you talking about, man? Well, most of my clients ha have, would send me some referrals, and you haven't sent me anyone, bro. Come on, man. Hell, hook a brother up. I mean, you're so popular, you know, so many people, you got to be hooking me up. And Jim, like, ah, oh, man, you know what? You're right. Uh, I'll see if I can hook uh, if I can send someone your way this this month. Oh, hey man, I really appreciate it. And I know you know you're in landscaping. I'll try to re return the favor. I'll get you some people too. So that first year, that relationship builds you that friendship where you can talk to the customers frankly and say, I need your help. You can call them up then and later on say, Hey Jim, I need your help. Just got an amazing trade in. I know you know people for a truck like this. You know, here's, here's, let me tell you all about it. Do you think you have anybody who's looking for a truck like this? And Jim might go, ah, oh, not really, but I do have my neighbor's look, uh, daughter's looking for a little car. Could you help her out? Holy smokes, just by making a follow-up call, building some relationships, I've got a lead. I built the funnel. I built my power base. So the four steps of power base. Market me, right? It's free nowadays. You've got to be living and breathing your brand. Create that brand. Number two is going to be your working prospects. You follow them up forever until they buy or die. And guess what? Then it just changes to a different kind of follow-up schedule, right? Maybe not the die one. Uh, number three is going to be prospecting. Who you are, what you do, where you do it, and how you can help people. And number four is those owner base. Don't lose your customer because being lazy.
Follow those four things and you won't have to worry about the walk-in traffic. You won't have to sit there going, ah man, I wish they would advertise more so we can get some more ups in the showroom. Low quality, low closing ratio traffic is what I'm all about. I'll get all jacked up for that. No, you want the high quality, high closing ratio customers. Have an awesome day. Thank you.